In 2013, when I found Bitcoin, right from day one, we were selling Bitcoin directly to consumers. And then shortly thereafter, with the first Bitcoin ATM in 2014, again, directly to consumers, really embracing this, this non-custodial model. Now, non-custodial, what does that mean and why does it matter? And I think that the, to highlight the key differences between custody and non-custodial is that Bitcoin Well sells Bitcoin directly to the consumer. There's, there's no middleman, there's no other side of the trade. It is a retail direct to consumer transaction, peer to peer, if you will, the way Bitcoin was intended. When you add custodians into the mix, what they're doing is creating a platform that pairs buyers and sellers. And so the workflow is that all of the money on the platform funnels to the custodian and then as trades happen, they swap and they swap accounts. And then when the members or the users request to withdraw their funds, the custodian issues the transactions. And this is inherently different from a non-custodial model where there's a direct to consumer linear transaction, which of course, less people involved is very, very good, uh, but there's also less risk involved. With a custodian, especially a custodian in the Bitcoin space, there's no room for error. There is zero room for error. And this is why, this core reason is why Bitcoin Well is so passionate about providing non-custodial services. If you wanna create a financially sovereign society, you need to empower and enable the people of that society to be able to buy Bitcoin in the safest and fastest way possible. There is no safer and no faster way to buy Bitcoin than directly from a non-custodial entity.